Mnuchin, Mnuchin. Do you have a crazy last name that people have a hard time pronouncing? Comment below and let me know what your last name is and how people mispronounce it. Today is December 30th, and this is your One Minute News. The first case of mutated COVID-19 strain from the UK is found in Colorado. It's in the middle of the country. That means it's everywhere. Argentina legalizes abortion. Before, abortion was only legal when there were birthing complications or rape. So literally the only two arguments people who are pro-abortion use. Virginia to give out driving permits to illegal immigrants starting January 1st. So if you're an illegal immigrant, head over to Virginia. Senate says Pentagon has 180 days to tell us all about UFOs. Let the countdowns begin. 41-year-old Congressman-elect Luke Letlow passes away from COVID-19. He apparently died from a heart attack following a procedure related to the infection. What that procedure is, I am unsure of. Mnuchin Munchin <laughs> says stimulus payments to begin arriving late last night and throughout the week. China's Cinefarm reports coronavirus vaccine they created is 79% effective. So if you have COVID-19, be sure to take China's 79% effective vaccine and not the 95% ones here. Israel spy Jonathan Pollard is freed after 30 years in prison for stealing Pentagon secrets and arrives in Tel Aviv. He immediately kisses the ground. The members of the... Yemeni government were landing when a bomb exploded. Five people were killed and dozens were injured. That is an arriving party. And today in history, in 1922, the USSR is established. We're back in the USSR. Hope you guys have a fantastic Wednesday. As always, thank you so much for listening to the One Minute News. Please be sure to share this news with everyone you know, literally everyone. Scream it in their face. Tell them about the one-minute news. Let them know. Um, I would, that would mean so much to me. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And uh, I had a couple people message me like, why aren't you talking about the Hilaria Baldwin stuff? Because it's low-hanging fruit. <laughs> I just saw a, a report today about how she and Alec Baldwin at their wedding said, instead of saying yes to each other, said C. Sí. And they had Spanish inscribed on the rings. And he said in a Vanity uh, Fair interview that his whole family had a hard time pronouncing her surname. <laughs> okay. uh, just another edition of I'm white and I wish I was a different ethnicity for bigger points. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I will see you tomorrow morning for another edition of the One Minute News.